AP Calculus AB versus AP Statistics. That is the subject of today's video. My name is Craig Meister. I'm a college admissions coach. I help students and families through every stage of the college admissions process. If you want to work with me, learn how at my website, collegemeister.com. So this is a question that comes up far more than it should, but students will ask, for senior year, should I take AP Calculus AB or AP Statistics? And frankly, unfortunately, too often, it's not even a question. A student has already decided to take AP Statistics and they're already getting like an A minus in pre-calculus, sometimes even honors pre-calculus or the new, as of you know this year, it's relatively new still, uh, AP pre-calculus, and they're doing pretty well. They're getting an AP plus, they're getting an A minus, and they're already planning or their school has already told them that they're going to be taking AP statistics next year. This is a travesty in my mind. Uh, so if you're aiming for admission to a highly selective college or university in the United States of America, and you are in for 11th grade, or even 10, let's say you're really advanced in 10th grade, if you are currently in a advanced trigonometry course, a, a course just called you know, Trigonometry 3 or, or Algebra 3 or Trig or uh, some combination thereof, or pre-calculus, honors pre-calculus especially, or AP pre-calculus, and you are holding your own in that class, and you have at least one more year of high school ahead of you. And I say, when I say holding your own, I mean, frankly, depending on the school, that could be a B minus or better. You're holding your own in that class. You're getting a respectable grade in a class, a math class that's not exactly easy, especially if it's called honors this or advanced that or AP this. You know, a pre, a, AP now has a calculus class, a pre calculus class, AP pre calculus. Honors pre-calculus, advanced pre-calculus, whatever the net, gifted and talented pre-calculus, whatever it's called, or again, sometimes these are called Algebra 3 Trig or Trig or you know whatever it might be at your school. But if you're holding your own in that class and you have at least one more year of high school yet ahead and you're being advised to take AP Statistics next year, it, it sort of leaves me speechless. It really does. It doesn't always happen from an extrinsic source. So it's not always someone advising you to take AP statistics next year. It's that you didn't know better and you want to take AP statistics because you know it's easier than AP Calc AB. And especially if you know you just have one more year's of, year of math. You're never going to take math in college if you can avoid it. Um, and you really have never been into math. But again, let's say you're holding your own. Let's say you've, even you're getting an A in an AP pre-calc or an, uh, an honors pre-calc or just something called pre-calc. You're doing really, let's say you're doing a high A in something just called standard pre-calculus or standard algebra three trig or something like that, algebra three trig. And you're considering taking AP statistics for your final year in high school or your second to last year in high school and you're just gonna end up with that? You're gonna get off the train of, going toward calc, I think that's a huge disaster. Again, the reason I think it's a disaster, let me make very clear, is not because I'm a snob. It's because I'm thinking about it from, the, <laughs> maybe I am, but I'm thinking about it from the perspective of the colleges that you want to get into. And you're probably watching this video because you're really trying to dot all your I's and cross all your T's in your quest to get into whatever college you want to get into in the United States. If that is the goal, and it's my goal for you as well, to give as many options to you as possible at the end of this process, then you need to attempt and hopefully do well in at least AP Calc AB. Even if you're hoping to major in history, there are too many people who are competing against you who are going to have multivariable calculus, differential equations, linear algebra, and at least AP Calc BC or AB for you to consider taking AP Stat as your climatic math class in high school. Uh, there's nothing wrong with AP Stat if you want to use it as one of two things. A, you really can't swing with and hang with 
the calc guys and girls. So let's say you really, you're really very superficial in math. Let's just put it nicely. And you've been holding on by the skin of your teeth for four years, three years. And somehow you've managed to get A's and B's, but really it's all fake. It's all, somehow you're all tutored up and you really can't do it much without a whole team behind you. Um, and you're not even in currently in honors math. Let's say you're just in standard math and you, but you think you could swing AP stat. Okay. Okay. That's fine. 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 You're never, it's just obvious that math is not your thing. Never was, never will be. You're not even in an an honors or a, a higher level math class right now. Okay. In that scenario, statistics, AP statistics can make sense. Similarly, if you are in a situation where you're a math all-star and you want to drop a class that you're not so into, like let's say your social sciences, your 12th grade year, or maybe you have a six block in your schedule and you really love math so much, okay, by all means, double up in AP statistics. There's nothing wrong with taking AP stat at the same t- time as you're taking BC calc or AB calc or whatever, you know, whatever in a, the AP level. That sounds great. By all means, layer on more of that math to show colleges that you are an an all-star in math by all means. But if you are someone who is in the middle, let's say 80%, well, not even the middle of a sort of high achieving student, the middle 80% of high achieving students, typically like, again, this is sort of rough estimations, guesstimations here. And you are getting an A of some sort, or even a B in a good math class going into your final years in high school or final year in high school, there's no reason for you not to attempt and try to do your very best in AP Calc AB. To do AP Stat instead is sort of like the metaphorical, you know, throwing up your hands and you're like, I just really want a happier senior year. I'm giving up. I, uh, again, no offense to the statisticians out there, the people who love AP stat, even the math teachers who teach it, no offense to you at all, but no one can say that AP statistics is the next appropriate class for someone who is able to do well in an AP pre-calc or an honors pre-calc. You should go to calc, go to calculus. Colleges will thank you for it. You will thank yourself for it. You'll see what you're really made of. You'll develop a little bit more grit. Yeah, it's a, if it's taught right, it's a harder class. For you to drop down in rigor, let's say you're an honors, let's say your school doesn't offer a pre, pre-calc and you're an honors pre-calc. I would look at it as, as dropping down in rigor to go to AP stat the next year, even though it has the AP associated with it. I would go, I would think that after an honors pre-calc would be an AP calc. A, B. That would make the most logical sense. I mean, in some cases, you can go right into AP Calc BC, depending on how good the honors uh, pre-calc class is. But for you to go to AP statistics, again, I'm not insulting at statistics. I think it's lovely, but it's not the next math class in line. If you have been on a track or a trajectory and you're already in a pre-calc or algebra three tree class, it doesn't make sense. So, Please, for your own college admissions benefit, keep the doors open. If you're a math all-star, double up in math as an upperclassman in high school. If you're a math mess, maybe AP statistics makes sense as a way to show that you can handle AP class in math, one of your weakest, if not your weakest subject, Um, and you're happy to challenge yourself in sort of a lane that's a little bit less than you know, where the most aggressive math students will go. Um, so there's nothing wrong. Again, it's, it's, you got to fight the battles you can win, right? But there is nothing wrong with a B minus either in an AP Calc AB and certainly not an AP Calc BC. That's a very rigorous class. If you're going to get one B minus over your entire high school career, it would, I would say, do it in an AP Calc BC or AP Calc AB instead of just taking an easy A in AP statistics. For you, it might be an easy A. I think it is because you're doing well in AP, uh, an AP pre-calc or an honors pre-calc. That's, that's how we preface this whole call, right? This whole uh, video that I just started. I call it a call because when I meet with clients around the world, I get on calls with them and I have conversations like this and I shake them virtually just like I'm shaking you right now saying, what are you thinking? And again, that's the sad story. Many students don't even know better. 
either their school told them to do this um, and sort of they've been weeded out of calculus or, you know, they just have picked up in the ether that uh, AP Stat's the easier one. It's an AP. Why not take AP Stat over AP Calc? And in the short term, that may feel really good because you can have more fun, wild times during your senior year or whatever. But uh, colleges know that too. The AP Stat is one of the relatively easy AP courses on offer at most schools that offer AP uh, courses. Um, I have done another video about another AP course in the science realm that I think is clearly one of the lower hanging fruit AP courses. Again, no insult to anyone who's made a career out of the subject or discipline or loves it, but we got to be real. You've come to a place where we are being real. So again, think long and hard as you plan any course for next year. Because each course relays a message to colleges about your value system, how much rigor you want to bite off in any given year, uh, and, and you know, again, what you value academically versus what you may value in terms of your extracurricular, social, or other life. Um, every, again, every student is a unique case, so always keep that in mind. This is not financial advice, as they say, uh, in the sense that every person has unique challenges, unique obstacles, unique... Uh, strengths, unique weaknesses, and so you should always consider this part and parcel with everything else going on in your life. But overall, I can't tell you how many times people want to take AP Stat and they shouldn't be taking AP Stat. And it would really hurt them long term to do so as it relates to college admissions op options if they're really willing to work their senior year or as early as their junior year money in some cases. Increasingly, I see kids going to high school with Algebra 2 in ninth grade, so if those kids can get like I said, to post AP math in many cases by the end of high school. Um, but again, a lot of this is coming intrinsically from students just not wanting to work so hard, not wanting to put the pedal to the metal. And colleges that are at the most selective level in the United States, the most selective colleges, the ones that reject the most students uh, because they get floods of incredibly impressive students, they, they get a lot of kids in AP Calc. Uh, so, or higher, much higher, frankly. So for you to, to surrender before even attempting AP Calc, if you can handle it, even if you may not be comfortable handing, handling it, if you can handle it, you sure as heck better consider handling it. Uh, by the time you hit submit on that application, AP Calc should be showing up somewhere on your transcript or intended courses for 12th grade year. My name is Craig Meister. If you are interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one or to learn more about me, just overall, by all means, learn about me. CollegeMeister.com is my website. If you enjoyed this video, I have a whole back catalog of videos. Go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash CollegeMeister. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and stay stress-free throughout the entire college admissions process.